I'm James Horgan, I'm a property investor, and today we're in Corby, visiting my latest project, which is a house of multiple occupancy. So this property was a, was a normal buy to let. I've owned this property since 2004, um, but we took the decision to convert it to, to house of multiple occupancy, basically to maximise its potential and massively increase its income. So before I show you around, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So as you walk in, in the new design, this area in here will be actually be the kitchen. So the guys are actually working on the refurbishment of the kitchen area. Uh, originally this was a garage area. This was dead space, so we're turning it into a nice communal kitchen area. So effectively here was the old garage door. This has been um, built up and we'll have a nice window letting light into the kitchen space. Obviously with HMOs, um, the kitchen design is, is really important. We need to make sure that we're compliant to building regulations uh, and licensing requirements. There'll be a seating area, uh, a two bowl sink. We're gonna put a dishwasher in as well and also have enough hob space um, so, so people can, can cook their food. So here we are in bedroom one. This was the, the front room. We've got a, a decent size um, bedroom. We've also got an ensuite. We look to put an ensuite in each of the rooms where possible. The primary reason for that is the return on the rent. It gets us up to 125 pounds per week. Um, so that was a major consideration in, in the design. If you remember the first video, uh, you'll remember that this was what was the, the kitchen area. But now you can see it's massively changed. And uh, if you come through, we've now created a, yet another bedroom on the ground floor. Um, so this bedroom number two. So this whole area is, is completely brand new. What we've done here is gone out and the back of the property about, by about two and a half meters. We're allowed to do that from a planning perspective under permitted development. So we are able to accelerate the timescales on the project. And if you remember from the, from the first video, you know, we were standing in the garden here. So what we're doing, we're converting that dead space into valuable space. Now this is an income generating area. This will earn me uh, £550 per, per calendar month. And that will do that whilst I own the property over hopefully 20 or 30 years. If we go around to the back. Right, so from this angle, you can see the whole of the back of the house. You can see how it's been transformed. We've added this, this, this single story extension. Um, and that really worked from a numbers point of view. It wasn't too much of an investment. So again, this is the upstairs. If you remember from the first video, this has completely changed. Effectively, the entire guts of the building were ripped out. So what we've done here is, is still some area back from, from the landing. The landing and corridors tend to be dead space. So we've been able to steal that back into what was a very small uh, box room. So we've, we've made this bigger to provide a decent double room. So this particular bedroom will have this bathroom dedicated to it. It's the only room without an ensuite. There was a large chimney breast in the building which we've completely removed. And that's allowed us basically to add an ensuite into this room and the, the adjacent room to give effectively three bedrooms up here, two of ensuite and one with a, with a dedicated communal bathroom. We'll have a bedside cabinet, we'll have a wardrobe, Again, what I tend to do is, is lease the furniture. It reduces my capital expenditure up front. It's also very tax efficient um, when you're putting this through a limited company. So this is the last and final room. Again, pretty generous. Um, a large ensuite area. And this is the sixth room. This basically means that this is a six bedroom, six bathroom property. So yeah, I'm really happy with the project so far. And we're now getting to the, to the end of the project. I need probably four, four to eight weeks out. Yeah, so in terms of this project, in terms of this property, I originally bought this property in, in 2004. This was my, was my first buy to let investment. I paid 75,000 pounds for this property. Uh, so when the last set of tenants moved out of the property, I knew I had to make an investment. And at that point I thought, okay, what do I do? I worked out there was demand for, for HMOs in, in the Corby area. 
So there was a strong case really to convert this into a house of multiple occupancy, making this into a high revenue, high earning, high return uh, asset. So I pay £75,000 for this property. In terms of the HMO build budget, it's, it's £80,000. I'm pushing for a revaluation of, of around £240,000. Um, that will enable me to take £180,000 out of this property. So as well as achieving gross £3,200 per calendar month, which is net cash flow of around £1,800 per month, this project will also pay me in the region of 34,000. Once I refinance my existing mortgage, pay off my, my bill costs, will leave me not only with a higher income asset, but also a lump sum to take to my next, my next project. Okay, so we're almost done this project. Uh, we're getting to the end. I hope that you can join me next time when we see the completed project. If you want to see that, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm Jane Torgan from Property Wealth System. Goodbye.